Audio Jump. The mold is where everything happens. If you've got an imperfect mold, you're going to pull an imperfect part, right? So you've got to treat your molds real, real carefully. carefully. So, you know, that mold is ready to go. I'll come in and I'll use a tack cloth just to get anything off the surface area. That's because a lot of static electricity is created from the mold. The gel coat will go down first, and then the best way to describe it is I'm, I'm basically like if I'm, a, if I'm home cooking lasagna, it's the same thing. I'm just putting in layers. So, you know, the first layer, you know, if I'm putting in a meat, you know, sauce on the bottom of the pan, the first layer is the gel coat. And then the second layer, my noodles, you know, the, the lasagna noodle, it's gonna be uh, on this boat, it's gonna be six ounce fiberglass. Then the next layer, and I'm just building up a stack of layers. Is there a barrier between the mold and the the gel coat? Mm -mm. No. No. The gel coat goes right. The gel coat is applied directly to the mold. You know what a bundt cake is? Okay, so, you know, a bundt cake has all those features. Yeah. It's a pretty con. It's a, it's a complex shape, right? Mm -hmm. It's not smooth. Okay, so, but that surface area needs to be so slick that you, you, you put the raw material into the bundt cake pan, you put it in the oven, it bakes. If you treat your pan well, when you pull that bun cake out, you flip it over and the, and the mm -hmm. whole thing drops, right? Okay, so what we have to make sure is that these molds are treated uh, properly. So these are different uh, chemicals that we use. So like the FMS, that one, it, that's a cleaner. So we'll come in and we'll clean the mold and then we'll treat it. The NC is a wax. So we go and we wax it, and we do that like every 10 pulls, right? And so the, the, the part just pulls from the mold cleanly, effortlessly. Mm. But if you mistreat your molds, then every part that you pull is going, to, is, is going to show up in the part. You know, the deck is a different animal. If you're gonna have problems, it's usually on the deck, like the bun cake. The deck has all the features to oh, it, right. right? So what you look at on the deck is the reverse in the mold. So here's your, this is your stern hatch opening. These are your recessed deck fittings. As we come down here, you've got your, the aft part of the combing, okay? And this is where things can start sticking. And the stiffer the laminate, the harder it is to pull because there's less flex. So if you look at the walls of our, of our recessed deck fittings, they're all angled yeah. to allow for good slip. Right. Where these molds always stick is, is this sharp angle. That's a 90 degree angle. It shouldn't be 90 degrees. It's 90 degrees here or slightly, not quite 90, yeah. but not as, not as aggressive as the recessed deck fitting. So when we pull a carbon boat from here because it's a stiffer material, it's a little harder to pull. How these molds were made, we, it's basically reverse, reversing the steps of building a boat. So what we, what we did with these, we pulled the part from the mold, and then we took it, we reinforced the part, like we were making a plug, and we hand shaped it, fared it, like Rusty's doing with the prototype. And then we took that and we, we laid the material, we basically built a mold off that part. The molds need to be heavy duty because you, you don't want to have any flex happening in the part when you're building it. And there's so much heat, you know, it's heating up, it's cooling down, it's heating up, it's cooling down, that you, you, you don't want the part to shift because once it starts shifting, then you can get, you can get cracks showing up in, in your mold. I can come in, Spray it, it'll take me half hour, 45 minutes to spray both parts. And then I have to let it sit and cure so it's not, we say it's non-transferable. So I'll touch the gel coat, if it doesn't come out on my fingers, then it's ready to go. And then it's basically 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes a layer. So the hull will go down 15 minutes, deck 15, 15, 15. So I can have this uninterrupted, 
I can have this boat under the bag, infused, walk away in six hours. And then it just sits overnight and it cures. One of the challenges with boat building is the setup time. So there's the hands-on time and then there's the setup time. So the cure time. So you know I can I can spray this, but then I have to sit and wait for an hour for it to cure. Well, what am I doing for that hour? You know, so I have to figure out, okay, I've got to cut kits, I can do the, I can do the combing, mm -hmm. I can set up, you know, the material for this, or I can, you know, go off and do something else. But there's that part of the building process that's, it's kind of a challenge to figure it all out. Audio Jungle.